You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Hillary Hinton Zig Ziglar November 6, 1926, November 28, 2012, was an American author, salesman, and motivational speaker. Ziglar dropped out of college in 19 for 7 and moved to Lancaster, South Carolina, where he took up a job as a salesman with the Wherever Cookware Company. While working at the company, Ziegler became interested in self-help and motivational speaking and began giving speeches of his own with Richard, Dick Gardner, and Hal Cross. Ziegler was a charter member in the establishment of American Sales Masters in 1963. Ziegler went on to speak extensively for audiences of the National Association of Sales Education Names, founded by Dick Gardner in 1965, and also became a major sales trainer for Mary Kay Cosmetics. In 1968, he became a vice president and training director for the automotive performance company and moved to Dallas, Texas. The company went bankrupt two years later. He later founded the Zygmuntship Institute, later known as Ziegler, Inc. Subsequently, Ziegler spoke extensively at seminars for motivational speaker Peter Lowe and eventually signed an exclusive agreement to support Peter Lowe events. In addition to speaking, Ziegler wrote over 30 books. His first book, See You at the Top, was rejected 39 times before it was published. It is still in print. In Addison, Texas, Ziegler employed and trained several speakers, including Will Harris. In 2007, a fall down a flight of stairs left him with short-term memory problems. Nonetheless, Ziegler continued taking part in motivational seminars until he retired in 2010. Lack of direction not lack of time, is the problem. We all have 24-hour days. Of course motivation is not permanent. But then, neither is bathing, but it is something you should do on a regular basis. Rich people have small TVs and big libraries, and poor people have small libraries and big TVs. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. When obstacles arise, you change your direction to reach your goal, you do not change your decision to get there. Among the things you can give and still keep are your word, a smile, and a grateful heart. The chief cause of failure and unhappiness is trading what you want most for what you want right now. You were born to win, but to be a winner you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. Make today worth remembering. If you go out looking for friends, you're going to find they are very scarce. If you go out to be a friend, you'll find them everywhere. Many marriages would be better if the husband and wife clearly understood that they're on the same side. A lot of people have gone further than they thought they could because someone else thought they could. There are no traffic jams on the extra mile. It's not how far you fall but how high you bounce that counts. If you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. You can have everything in life that you want if you just give enough other people what they want. You are what you are and you are where you are because of what has gone into your mind. You change what you are and you change where you are by changing what goes into your mind. You never know when a moment and a few sincere words can have an impact on a life. Some people find fault like there is a reward for it. Failure is an event not a person. Attitude, not aptitude, determines altitude. Success is the doing, not the getting, in the trying, not the triumph. Success is a personal standard, reaching for the highest that is in us, becoming all that we can be. If we do our best, we are a success. The greatest of all mistakes is to do nothing because you think you can only do a little. F-E-A-R has two meanings, forget everything and run or face everything and rise. The choice is yours. Ability can take you to the top, but it takes character to keep you there. Make failure your teacher, not your undertaker. 
The more you are grateful for what you have the more you will have to be grateful for. The most important persuasion tool you have in your entire arsenal is integrity. Expect the best. Prepare for the worst. Capitalize on what comes. Outstanding people have one thing in common, an absolute sense of mission. Duty makes us do things well, but love makes us do them beautifully. Don't be distracted by criticism. Remember the only taste of success some people have is when they take a bite out of you. Motivation gets you going and habit gets you there. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. Some of us learn from other people's mistakes and the rest of us have to be other people. If you can dream it, then you can achieve it. You will get all you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. Go as far as you can see and you will see further. What you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving your goals. Motivation is the fuel, necessary to keep the human engine running. Don't become a wandering generality. Be a meaningful specific. You cannot consistently perform in a manner which is inconsistent with the way you see yourself. It was character that got us out of bed, commitment that moved us into action and discipline that enabled us to follow through. Confidence is going after Moby Dick in a robo and taking the tartar sauce with you. When you put faith, hope and love together, you can raise positive kids in a negative world. Repetition is the mother of learning, the father of action, which makes it the architect of accomplishment. If God would have wanted us to live in a permissive society he would have given us ten suggestions and not ten commandments. A narrow mind and a fat head invariably come on the same person. Failing is an event, not a person. Yesterday ended last night. Anything worth doing is worth doing poorly until you can learn to do it well. If you learn from defeat, you haven't really lost.